tonight on Team Voodoo Adventures. Jude is teaching the younger generation of the Atchafalaya the proper way to hunt for meat here in the swamplands. A chance encounter on foot not seen every day has Jude ready for action. And the Coburn's kitchen is starting to smell delicious as the guys show you their favorite way to prepare backstrap. Caught or, uh, or harvested on the show. We definitely eat it, it all has a purpose. Team Voodoo Adventures is presented by Coburn Supply Company. Coburn's has you covered. Voodoo Performance Exhaust and Sniper 2 Odor Elite, your outdoor odor response. Sponsored by Marshmutt.com, Spiker Brands USA, Bayou Hunting Expeditions, Mike Swamp Tours, Gator Tail, and Crawfish Town USA. Additional support for the show provided by This is Jude with Team Voodoo Adventures. We out here doing a deer youth hunt. We just took a little boat ride. We took a four wheeler ride. We've already seen one deer. We uh, we seen a bald eagle, quite a few alligators. This is Louisiana, you're gonna see quite a few of those. The youth hunt gets the kids in the woods and they get out here first chance with the gun. It gives them a little bit better chances. The deer are a lot calmer. The only bad thing about Louisiana early hunting it's still hot. It's 87 degrees right now, I believe. We're gonna ease our way into the woods. And hopefully we see a deer. We can shoot a doe, a buck. We got the green light on anything, but Jacob has already agreed that if we shoot a buck, he's gonna be a very mature deer. And if a doe comes out, she's gonna be a mature doe as a management deer. So y'all stay with us. It's gonna be a good afternoon. Wish us luck. Now I'm the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Now I can roll. Oh, 
There you go. Now you're good. Uh, I'm off the same oh, I'm all right. That's okay. That's okay. felt like awesome. <laughs> what just happened, man? She came out and uh, so she came out first and then uh, once she walked out, she kept moving. I couldn't get her shot. She finally went back in the woods and she popped out by the feeder and uh, there was a smaller doe following her and just I took my time and when I got a broad touch, I kind of smoked her. <laughs> Dropped her in her tracks, buddy. Yeah. All right, we're gonna give her a second and we're gonna go check her out, all right? All right. Congratulations, big daddy. Thanks. A successful youth hunt. Thanks, dude. We just scored, we got a nice doe down. It's gonna be an early afternoon for us because we still gotta tag the doe, put it back on the four wheeler, put it to the boat, bring it to the house, put it there, bring it here, drag it there. He gets to do all of that because I'm operating the camera. A beautiful, beautiful, mature doe. She hit the ground like a, uh, ton, of like a ton of bricks. <laughs> All right, guys, if you have a chance to bring a youth hunting, believe me, just because you're not pulling the trigger doesn't mean it's not exciting. All I had to do was run the camera and keep him calm, and at the same time, I was keeping myself calm. If y'all could bring somebody out, do it. I promise. Uh, Got to keep the uh, next generation interested in deer hunting. A youth hunt. Uh, you know, everybody is starting to do the DMAP uh, deer management uh, programs, and I promise you, if you fill some tags, put some meat in the freezer before you start trophy hunting, take the kids with you. I promise it's going to be something fun. All right, guys, y'all go ahead and stay tuned. More hunts like this on the way. With Jacob's deer loaded onto the ATV, they head back to camp with heads held high. And still to come, a ground hunt for Jude during the early season becomes a chance encounter that he won't soon forget. And the smell of backstrap is in the air at the Coburn's Kitchen. Stay tuned. Everything that we've caught or, uh, or harvested on the show, we definitely eat it. It all has a purpose. Coburn's Kitchen and Bath Showroom has you covered on the highest quality plumbing, appliances, and lighting for your home or your home away from home. We feature the best brands on the market like American Standard, LK, KitchenAid, Progress Lighting, and many more. With the best quality service you expect and deserve, Coburn's is proud to provide what you need when you need it. And Team Voodoo knows there's only one place to prepare their favorite meals and clean up after a day in the swamp. We're using their amazing stuff. we got to thank them. Visit us at Coburn's.com for a location near you. Sniper 2 Odor Elite. One bottle is like having an entire arsenal in your hunting bag. And it's not just an odor eliminator. It cleans and disinfects by killing up to 99.9% .9 of bacteria in 60 seconds, making it the perfect companion to keep with you on the hunt and at home. Long day hauling in the catch? Snipe that fish smell and bacteria. Keep your cleaning tools even cleaner. Snipe odors all over the house, and it's perfectly safe for the kids and the hunting dogs. Sniper 2, your outdoor odor response. Pick your team colors and let's get tossing. Hit the beach with your crew and the Team Toss Backpack. 
play 2 to 10 players all ages. Got the Team Toss tailgate box, quality wood, handcrafted by cabinet makers, holds everything neatly inside. Play it tailgating. Play it on your patio. Get your toss on with Team Toss. Another fine spiker product, American made, family owned. Anytime Team Voodoo finds themselves in the field, they rely on quality gear to get them through the hunt. That's why this team looks no further than MarshMutt.com as their number one source for practically all their outdoor accessories. From hunting apparel and equipment, duck decoys, calls and blinds, turkey calls, gun and ammo accessories, all the way to bow fishing gear. And they'll even suit your mud up too. MarshMutt.com, proud sponsor of Team Voodoo Adventures and your one-stop shop for all your outdoor gear. As the afternoon wears on, Jude notices what he thinks is a doe bedded down in the thick brush about 40 yards ahead of him.
it was a big mature doe. I gave her a minute or two. I heard her crash right behind me, so she shouldn't be far at all. Must have shot her at 35, 40 yards. She had just kind of picked up my motion. My, uh, you know, she must have picked up something but I think after I had readjusted the camera, I had to put my hand back down and pick up the gun and she looked right at me. And I could tell she was a mature doe. Went ahead and took her. Now the program that we're hunting early season, it's uh, Wildlife and Fisher gives you X amount of tags to hunt. They want you to take out so many recommended does and if you have X amount of food on your, on your uh, property or browse and whatnot, they definitely want you to uh, remove enough does to where uh, all the animals and the uh, you know the deer are a lot healthier. None of them are starving. Uh, if a bad freeze comes here, they all have enough ample amount of food. Let's see. She just about ran over me. Here we go. I got blood right here. Here we go guys, beautiful doe, she's probably about a hundred and, I don't know, 110, 120 pounds, beautiful deer. We're going to go ahead and pick her up, put her on the four wheeler, put a tag on her, not in that order, of course we're going to put the tag on her first. <laughs> go ahead and bring her back, skin her out, more meat for the freezer. She came in, she was very, very close. Uh, we have a management program going on right now. We've got to shoot a, a specific amount of uh, deer. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, there's a certain number in there for the does. Got to take them out. Take them out early season so you can buck hunt later on in the season. Guys, stay tuned. More Team Voodoo Adventures right after this.
Coming up next on Team Voodoo Adventures. All right, Zach, what's the first thing we gotta do? I got this beautiful piece of backstrap for you laid out. A, lighter, a little light uh, golf clap here, golf clap. Nice, nice guys, nice guys. Pop, pop. Pop. Nice, y'all. Get that fry up there. Yeah, he's, he's mesmerized. I'm just, he just, nice, sorry guys. Nice <laughs> and there he is. Nice. The, the, the final touch yeah. to that, you know, okay. The devil don't got him weaved. He tried to make a deal with the devil. The devil don't got him Are you looking for a taste of the South Louisiana hunting lifestyle? How about hunting 1,700 acres of prime land for the finest whitetail, waterfowl, hog, and alligator? Right here in the heart of Cajun country, Bayou Hunting Expeditions can exceed your wildest expectations. Whether you're an avid hunter or a beginner, you can enjoy a first-class hunting experience. With our team of expert guides, you'll be given a rich history on the Cajun heritage of survival here in the swamps of Louisiana. It's time to start your next expedition. After a long day of adventures, Team Voodoo knows the best place to relax and enjoy the bounty of the Atchafalaya. Crawfish Town, USA. Built inside an authentic barn from the early 1900s, Crawfish Town is home to some of Louisiana's most respected and award-winning chefs, serving the best in seafood, crawfish, and Cajun cuisine. Conveniently located off of I-10 at the Henderson Cecilia exit, come enjoy the true taste of South Louisiana, Crawfish Town, USA. All right, guys, welcome back. Y'all saw that amazing segment. We got a bunch of deer down, and right. especially that one big one that I got. We got something very special for y'all today. We're out here at Coburn's Supply Kitchen and Bath Showroom over here in Lafayette. They're letting us use all their beautiful facility and everything they have. I'm here with Zach Brazda. We got a piece of backstrap right here, and we're gonna show you what we do with it down here in the basin. All right, Zach, what's the first thing we gotta do? I got this beautiful piece of backstrap for you laid out. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut it into some little strips, you know, about, uh, about an inch, I guess. Guys, everything that we've caught or, uh, or harvested on the show, we definitely eat it and it all has a purpose. Um, I know that we've had a couple predator hunts on the show. Those are the only things we don't eat, but we do take the prize pelt off of it. Um, we're very, very proud that, that we don't waste anything on this show. And y'all are gonna see throughout, you know, the whole season. Um, and these predator hunts, they're not, they, there is a purpose for them. You know? Definitely, we wanna, we wanna remove certain animals that might be a little, a little overpopulated in the areas or that might be conflicting with some of the uh, coyotes, bobcats, you know, they, they, they're detrimental to, to a... Uh, they'll to take out a deer herd, deer herd. You know, turkeys, turkeys, yeah. Turkeys, we got our meat all tenderized like this. Nice. We'll grab a little milk. Little milk. Little milk. milk. Little this milk. It helps tenderize it. Take the uh, game, Take little game, game flavor, flavor out. out. Backstrap doesn't have a lot of game. You know, but I and mean, it's, it, it does help and it helps moisten it up and it helps create a bonder for the flour. Then I always add one egg. That's my bonder, my main bonder. Break that in there. Nice. Fill that up. Break that yolk up. Work it around in there. Just and also, I like a little hot sauce. Ah, a little hot sauce. Little, little, little spice. Now, what uh, what temperature are we going to be frying it in? What temperature should we set the grease at? About 350 degrees. 350? Right? It's not too hot. It won't burn your grease. If your grease is not hot enough, when you put it in, your batter's going to come off. Okay. Now, if you put it too hot, it's going to burn your batter and then your meat won't cook. Okay, okay. So 350 is that nice meat. Go ahead and put it in our little, our little mixture. Mix up, little flour and camp dog. Got it in a nice Coburn's bag. That's right. That's right. So that y'all can see it working into the meat. I just want to take Tom while he's shaking that up to uh, go ahead and explain this uh, this beautiful setup that we have here today. And I want to thank 
Colburn Supply for allowing us to use their uh, their kitchenettes out here in, in the main uh, location. Sorry, y'all. I kind of, I kind of, you know, I daydreamed a little bit because I was looking at that. Yeah, we got them good and battered up now. Nice. Ready to drop it in the front. Nice. Light up a little light uh, golf clap here. Golf clap. Nice, nice guys, nice guys. Pop, pop, pop. Nice, y'all. That fry up there. Yeah, he's, he's mesmerized. I'm just, it just, it's nice, sorry guys. <laughs> nice flaky. And there he is. No, nice. No, the, the final touch to that is a little more camp dog. A little bit just more camp dog. A little bit more camp dog. A and if you want it to be a little hotter, don't forget, they have that hot sauce as well. Good stuff right there. We're going to go ahead and put another batch on. But guys, I want to thank you all for tuning in today. Uh, we're over here again at Coburn's Kitchen and Bat Showroom in Lafayette. Uh, we're using their amazing stuff. we got to thank them. we got the camp dog all laid out for everybody. And Zach is going to keep on cooking. As soon as we turn off these cameras, uh, we're going to go ahead to eat. <laughs> guys, we'll see you all uh, next time on Team Voodoo Adventures. Don't forget... Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't. And also subscribe to our website. Guys, teamvoodoo.tv. Subscribe to the website. Till next time, Zach, Jude, Team Voodoo Adventures. We'll see you next time. Next week on Team Voodoo Adventures. Yeah, boys. Get there. Got him. What? Got him, man. The guys head south of Houma, Louisiana to experience an unforgettable night of bow fishing for redfish. All right, guys, we done traveled all the way down here to Coco Dree, Louisiana. We out here with Captain Terry with scales and tails bow fishing. We weren't parked three seconds. The captain pulled the fish in the boat already. Uh, Y'all stay him. with us. We're about to have a lot of fun. <laughs>